My name is Francisca Malfi. And my name is Delphine Six. We work at the Center for Medical Genetics in Ghent, Belgium. With this video highlight, we would like to present our recent manuscript entitled Genetic Heterogeneity and Clinical Variability in Musculocontractural ehlers danlos Syndrome Caused by Impaired Dermatin Sulfate Biosynthesis, which has been published in Human Mutation. The ehlers danlos Syndrome, or shortly EDS, comprises a heterogeneous group of connective tissue disorders that are clinically hallmarked by a combination of skin hyperextensibility, joint hypermobility, and generalized connective tissue fragility. The latest EDS classification, known as Villefranche nosology, recognizes six subtypes which are mainly caused by defects in fibrillar procollagens or collagen-modifying enzymes. Over the years, several additional rare EDS and EDS-like variants have been clinically delineated and diverse molecular causes have been identified. One of the emerging causes of EDS are defects in proteoglycan biosynthesis. Proteoglycans consist of a core protein covalently attached to a glycosaminoglycan chain via a tetrasaccharide linker region. The alternating addition of GLNAC and glucuronic acid commits the nascent glycosaminoglycan chain to chondritin, and subsequent sulfation of the GLNAC residues results in the formation of chondritin sulfate. Alternatively, the glucuronic acid residues can be epimerized to ideronic acid by two dermatin sulfate epimerases, followed by GLNAC sulfation in order to form dermatin sulfate. Both dermatin sulfate epimerases and dermatin sulfate transferase are crucial for proper dermatin sulfate biosynthesis. One of these enzymes, dermatin transferase 1, is encoded by the CHST14 gene. Recently, we identified BLLX CHST14 mutations in a subset of patients with an EDS6B phenotype, which we coined musculocontractual EDS. Defects in CHST14 were already reported in two other recessive conditions, adductor temple foot syndrome and EDS koshiotype. Based on the overlapping phenotypic characteristics, these three conditions were concluded to be a single, clinical recognizable form of EDS, referred to as D4ST1 deficient EDS. In our paper, we studied seven individuals originating from five families with a musculocontractural EDS phenotype. In four of these families, we identified novel homozygous mutations in the CHST14 gene. Comprehensive analysis of the clinical hallmarks of all 31 reported patients revealed that they generally present with typical craniofacial abnormalities that are recognizable at birth, cutaneous features including soft and hyperextensible skin with atrophic scars, easy bruising and palmar wrinkling, and musculoskeletal features, most notably typical congenital joint contractures of hands and feet. These features occur often in combination with one or more other clinical manifestations, which can affect several organ systems as summarized here. Recently, locus heterogeneity was proposed for musculocontractural EDS based on the identification of a single patient with mutations in the DSE gene encoding dermatin sulfate epimerase 1. Since we could not identify CHST14 mutations in family 5, we screened the DSE gene and identified the second missense mutation located adjacent to the previously reported mutation. Clinical evaluation of all patients showed that DSE defects are associated with a somewhat milder phenotype compared to CHST14 defects without severe complications of the urogenital, gastrointestinal, respiratory, ocular, and central nervous systems. Nevertheless, due to the limited number of patients with DSE mutations, it is currently impossible to make clear clinical distinctions between defects in these two genes. Studies by us and others have indicated that mutations in CHST14 and DSE alter the composition of the dermatin sulfate chains to a different extent. In the absence of functional dermatin sulfur transferase, sulfation of GALNAC is prevented thereby allowing back epimerization of the adjacent hyaluronic acid residues. Subsequent sulfation by chondroitin sulfur transferases results in excessive chondroitin sulfate formation and near-complete absence of dermatin sulfate. In case of dermatin sulfate epimerase 1 deficiency, reduced epimerization also leads to an increased formation of chondroitin sulfate. However, a limited number of glucuronic acid residues are epimerized to hyaluronic acid. This allows sulfation of GALNAC by dermatin sulfate transferase, and as such, still a minor fraction of dermatin sulfate is present. In summary, mutations in both CHST14 and DSE affect proper dermatin sulfate biosynthesis. The decreased to absent amounts of dermatin sulfate have an impact on the interactions between dermatin sulfate proteoglycans and other constituents of the extracellular matrix. This is illustrated by the disturbed deposition and organization of several extracellular matrix components, including fibronectin and types 1, 3, and 5 collagen. In addition, disturbances in the dermal collagen fibril ultrastructure can be observed in patients with CHST14 mutations. 
In patients with DSE mutations, no pronounced ultrastructural alterations were seen. This could be attributed to the residual presence of dermatin sulfate moieties, which can also contribute to the apparent myelar phenotype in these patients. Combined with a disturbed balance between chondroitin sulfate and dermatin sulfate during cell differentiation and development, these alterations give rise to the multisystemic musculocontractural EDS phenotype. We would like to thank our co-authors for the fruitful collaboration and all patients who participated in the study. For more information and clinical details, we refer you to our manuscript and hope you enjoy reading it. Thank you for watching our video and feel free to contact us if you have further questions.